Given two overlapping rigid polyhedra, penetration depth is often defined as the minimal translation distance to separate them. Penetration depth is an important measure for quantifying the amount of intersection between objects. It is often required in dynamic simulation, force display, tolerance validation, path planning, and many other engineering problems. We present a novel, fast, global algorithm to estimate penetration depth using a combination of graphics rasterization hardware and hierarchical refinement, including hierarchical culling, model simplification, and local refinement, to accelerate the computation. In this complementary video, we first give a brief overview of our approach. Then we demonstrate its performance on several challenging benchmarks and highlight its applications to dynamic simulation and tolerance verification. We define the penetration depth as the minimum translational distance to separate two objects, P and Q. Equivalently, the penetration depth is defined as the minimum distance from the origin of the Minkowski sum to its surface. As a pre-processing step, our penetration depth algorithm decomposes each non-convex object into a collection of convex pieces. Then, we recursively build up a hierarchy of convex pieces. At runtime, we first estimate the penetration depth between the root level nodes. At an intermediate level, we take all possible pairwise combinations between intermediate nodes in P and Q. For each pair, we attempt to compute its Minkowski sum. However, during this process, we do not consider those pairs that are far from the origin by more than the current penetration depth estimation. Then, we render the boundary of the union of the Minkowski sums viewed from the origin and find the minimum depth value in the z-buffer. We consider this value as a new penetration depth estimate. We also apply the same procedure to the lower level of the hierarchy. Once we reach the leaf level of the hierarchy, we get the final result of the penetration depth. In order to test the performance of our algorithm, we benchmark the prototype implementation with the following models. Here, we have a pair of wrinkled tori touching each other. Each torus consists of 2,000 faces and is decomposed into 67 convex pieces. It takes only 0.3 seconds to compute the amount of penetration. Here we have the same pair of wrinkled tori interlocked in a different configuration. Due to its contact configuration, it takes 3.7 seconds to compute the minimum amount of translational distance to separate them. Any local approach may have difficulty with this configuration and take more time for computation. Here we have a pair of 3D comb-like grates interlocked together. Each has many sharp teeth. They consist of 400 and 1100 long and skinny faces, respectively. Our algorithm automatically decomposes them into 160 and 400 convex pieces. This example is notoriously challenging to compute the minimum translational distance required to separate the two objects. Using our algorithm, we can compute the global penetration depth in less than two seconds to render the two objects disjoint. To further illustrate the effectiveness of our algorithm, we show our prototype implementation performing efficient time-stepping in dynamic simulation of rigid bodies, as well as tolerance verification for rapid prototyping of a complex machinery structure. When interpenetration occurs in rigid body simulation, the penetration depth is used to estimate the time of collision. In this rigid body simulation, 200 letters and numbers follow along a structure. The letters and numbers have an average complexity of 250 triangles, and their boundary is decomposed into roughly 60 convex patches. Each simulation step for this complex scenario takes about two minutes to compute. During the tolerance verification, a hammer follows a planned path through a complex virtual machine room. The path is generated interactively using a haptic device as a motion tracker. The tolerance verification application plays the path back, checking for separation distance and penetration depth. 